Hi, Ellen. Hi. I'm so excited to have you here. We have this program called Vocal Resolutions, and it's an opportunity for us to use music as a means to talk about possibly the world of social conflict and using music as a, as a, as a way of, of hooking in that concept. I asked you, I called you, would you write a piece for us? And you said, yes, and I, I thought it was great. <laughs> so, so thank you. <laughs> well, thank you for calling. I love what you do. I love everything about YPC. So tell us, you know, what is this piece about? The restraint you gave me was the theme of balance, which is so broad and applies to every day and every moment. And it's something that I'm thinking about a lot. I think everyone's thinking about a lot. When you meet the choristers, you understand so much more what YPC is about because they have so much to say and their perspective is so rich. And I knew after meeting them that they needed to be central to the message of the work. And so I, I worked with five of the choristers who were interested in writing. We had a meeting and we said, what is balance? Let's talk about these moments when you came into balance in your life. And they all took that prompt and went away and wrote poems. And then I extracted a line or two from each of the poems to weave into the piece that is so much of my soul. And I love that title, So Much of My Soul. How did that title come about and how, how does the music relate to it? It really jumped out at me when I was reading through the different poems. And it also just resonated kind of in a choral tradition of like I grew up singing in church and it felt like something that was spiritual and searching and vast and contemporary. So that's why that line jumped out at me. The way you're able to use the words and the way you're able to use the, the themes and the melodies, it's immediate. It's, it's, I can't wait for everybody to hear it because the children love it. I love it and they're investing so much in it. We're also going to be working with a group called Shalloway. They're going to come in from Newfoundland and they're going to be very much involved in this concert. And that's going to be really awesome. Yeah, they are doing so much interesting work. I really enjoyed getting to know them and can't wait to see, hear it all together. There are two other pieces that we're doing by Ellen Reed on this program. One is called Take Time. Can you tell mm -hmm. me a little bit about that? Yeah, I really love this band called The Books. Mm -hmm. And when you were talking about the theme of balance, I thought of this piece that they wrote, and it's this incredibly uplifting and kind of joyous piece. Take Time are the main words in the whole piece. And just hearing those repeated again and again and again with the joy of the piece, I think has so much meaning. And hearing the cover sung by the choristers of YPC I think will be really impactful. There's another piece that, that fits within the theme of the concert. We're going to put it in a program to show the depth of, of the work that you do and that's Fear Release. Tell me about that. It's a percussion quartet that I wrote for LA Percussion Quartet. It shows kind of an extreme anxiety as well as a release of that anxiety which I when I think about balance it feels more cyclical than um, a direct line to balance or anything that can be maintained all the time. Mm -hmm. So this kind of idea of fear and then release and fear and release as kind of the core of balance made sense to me. Throughout the whole piece, the instrumentalists are always playing more than one thing. Mm -hmm. So it's kind of requires an ambidextrousness to the players. And so I'm so excited to watch Mantra play. It's really a challenging piece. Just this past week, you received word that you won the 2019 Pulitzer Prize for Music. And I just think it's the most incredible thing. I want to say congratulations. Thank you. So I'm beyond ex uh, excited and impressed. Last year, the Pulitzer was awarded to Kendrick Lamar, and I cannot think of any more relevant artist. And so to have been awarded it the year after, to me, is just insane, actually. <laughs>